Even back when he was a football player, mainstay on the WWE and his early film career, he had an impressive physique. But somewhere at the beginning of the 2010s, we all noticed that The Rock was looking, well, bigger. Part of that was due to his insane workouts and his diet. What's up guys, Derek, moreplaysmoreadage.com. Today we're going to be talking about... Dwayne The Rock Johnson again. So a while back, I had a pretty popular video talking about his, uh, what I speculate to be probably his like uh, enhanced version of HRT. So a lot of guys, they will be on, like especially at his age and his size and with his athletic requirements to prepare for roles and whatnot, um, it is essentially... <laughs> like an expected thing for these guys to be on at least bioidentical HRT. You know, these guys are going to be on, like if you're pushing 50 years old and you're pushing 270 lean, what is the probability that you're going to be operating with just your endogenous testosterone production that's declining by the year and somehow maintaining a physique that is superior to your prime, you know, like mid twenties physique when you were, you know, otherwise in your most prime position for muscle growth, like and an up and coming actor who was like grinding his way into the industry rather than the guy who has everything, you know, handed to him on a silver platter now, and you could theoretically get away with less work. You know what? Like, obviously, this guy works hard as fuck. That's kind of irrelevant to what I'm saying. I'm just saying that the probability your physique is going to be better you know, almost 30 years later when you were an athlete since your teens, a high caliber one too, and now all of a sudden you somehow managed to pack on another, you know, 20, 30 pounds of lean tissue 20 years after your prime, you know, it makes no fucking sense. So for this guy, like my assumption was he was probably on like a reasonable TRT dose with, you know, a couple I use a GH, you know, a standard kind of HRT regimen and uh, probably ramps it up for uh, production, you know, when he goes into play uh, Fast and the Furious roles, when he goes into play anything that requires him to get, you know, an, add a bit of, uh, you know, super physiological size, it would <laughs> involve more than just your standard TRT, presumably. So for him, you know, obviously longevity is probably at top of mind for him as well. He's not very useful if he's not alive, obviously. So cranking your face off with trend bologna sandwiches and fucking high doses of tea and other things are not going to be uh, longevity minded, nor are they really necessary for the body composition outcomes he's trying to seek in these roles. Because he's a big guy as is, you can maintain a reasonable amount of mass from what I would assume with TRT. You'd be surprised how many bodybuilders past their prime are able to hold on to a decent amount of or a shit ton of tissue with like, you know, like sports TRT sort of, where it's like, you know, 200 megs a test per week or something like that, where it's not actually an amount you would otherwise be able to endogenously produce ever, even if you're, you know, normal levels, you know, within a reference range, you show up with an 1100 nanogram per deciliter total, you would not maintain that chronically without, you know, secretions, you know, dipping up and down as you go through your diurnal rhythm of natural testosterone production. So for him, you know, if you have a chronic bleed of even, you know, 1100, 1200 nanograms per deciliter, that is probably sufficient to maintain the majority of his size. And then when he gets to uh, big roles that he has to prepare for, I would assume things get pushed up a bit to a, within a reasonable amount that is not going to put his health in massive amounts of jeopardy. Obviously it is a risk to reward thing at the end of the day. And the risk is, you know, outweighed by the reward in that pushing the dosages up are going to yield you the physique that would otherwise, you know, be more uh, complimentary for the role. So I would imagine the T goes up a bit. He probably throws in some nandrolone on top because HRT clinics often do that nowadays, even though it's not technically HRT at that point, it's basically just a mini cycle. So that was my speculation at the time. And uh, a lot of you guys were sending me this Phase two training for Black Adam. The hierarchy of power in the DC universe is about to change. Shout out to my longtime strength and conditioning coach for the ever evolving strategic roadmap to success for this film and character. Month by month, week by week, day by day. 277 pounds of mean and nasty. So how old is this guy? The Rock Age. So he is 48 years old now. So what is the probability at 48 you're going to 
be walking around 277 striking distance of shredded like granted the rock is never actually like shredded but for you know layman standards he is he's peeled but in reality he's probably like you know 12 13 percent body fat even when he's peaked but that's still a fuck ton of muscle dude like this guy is in absolutely insane shape you see these guns you see this chest you see this fucking musculature the guy's a house the guy is a walking goddamn house and to be this much you know the one of the main things that's going to determine your lifespan is indeed your body weight the amount of literal taxing your organs it takes to fuel 277 pounds lean is a shit ton so this guy obviously must have some like significant you know understanding of the risk to reward on this and deemed that pushing his shit up to 280 lean was indeed worth it for this role at his age which you know i guess when you're getting paid that much it probably is and when you have a legacy to uphold it's just unfortunate that a lot of these guys legacies are kind of contingent upon their physiques maintaining an unhealthy amount of mass unfortunately so anyways getting a bit off track but this is uh production kicks off spring 2021 so my assumption would be he's full tilt right now like this guy is probably pushing a few under megs of test some nandrolone decanoate some gh you know probably in the full-blown um I don't know, like minor enhancement. He's not like full blown like IFBB pro sauce to the gills, but he's probably using enough shit that's getting the job done. Um, and there is a lot of, uh, you know, speculation about his, uh, you know, practices and whatnot. And apparently he's been logging it for some time because I guess during this whole, uh, you know, thing going on in the world, can't say the word on YouTube because it's uh, apparently a, a no no word. You get fucking flagged or whatever. Um, he's been training like all year, like a madman because he, uh, has had more time on his hands, I guess. So he's been, uh, I guess this training was probably the transition was probably smoother than it had been in the past for some of the other roles because he probably didn't need to, uh, transition from like not lifting. Well, he lifts like full time. The guy's committed as fuck, but I mean like going from bodybuilder mode into like normal person mode that just trains still to maintain and then going back into like bodybuilder mode it seems like he has been like all year kind of like pushing the boundaries a bit like this is him november 21st looking like a goddamn behemoth now uh let's go back earlier in the year and see if his physique was significantly different at all but from what i can tell his training has been like peak hypertrophy essentially for the duration of the year and taking advantage of the time off like obviously this guy's busy as fuck regardless but i mean he has more time to train when there are a lot of you know productions not occurring due to all the stuff going on so uh, apparently all year he's been uh i don't know if he was if he's been cranking you know super physiological dosages this entire time or if it's just been uh i would assume for being longevity minded he probably had, was taking it a bit easier in the year and it's kind of titrating up now along with his volume as he attempts to peak for this role but this is uh is this a throwback no, monday 5 30 back to work september 28th yeah so this guy's been pushing his shit for a while now um and uh doesn't seem to be slowing down like typically you would see some regression between roles at least for guys who are trying to clean out you know optimize their blood work um not uh you know push the boundaries too much but um yeah but then again maybe he's somehow managing to support all this with just normal trt you know it'd be highly doubtful but i mean you never fucking know this guy's a genetic elite um and anything is possible i suppose so like here he was in july 26th looking just as lean and mean frankly i don't think he looks uh, much different you know maybe a little bit less mass actually than the uh november shot where he was looking uh beefy as all fuck and that's probably a sign of more of a um more nitrogen more uh you know mineral retention water retention intramuscular fullness in general um so yeah i wouldn't be surprised if this is indeed kind of like the reflection or the representation visually of um pushing up the dosages a bit getting on something more uh um volume driving like a nandrolone so again like this physique you see where the fuck is that picture i just had on the screen two seconds ago um is definitely bigger than what he was halfway through the year and almost looks a little bit glossed over so you know it could be a sign of a little bit of fat gain but some water as well potentially from what he's using so but again this guy's been uh 
Seems a lot, like it's not like he's ever not been consistent, but for the majority of his career, he had a bit more fluctuation than recent. He seems to be sort of on his shit all of this year. Hopefully he's staying healthy in that regard because everyone wants to see this guy uh, succeed, obviously. You know, he's a very inspirational guy to many people. Um, so as far as, uh, you know, a lot of these like uh, publications are covering it. Black Adam, Dwayne Johnson gets mean and nasty in phase two training pro photo. Um, let's see. Like, uh, featuring himself at the gym in a Black Adam sh shirt. Training for Black Adam. Oh, it's basically just the same Instagram post. Holy fucking shit. 4.3 billion likes. That's crazy. 22,870 comments. Um, you know how disappointing it'd be if, like, you sauced your fucking face off and prepared and then they, like, called off production because of, of some shit going on? That would be uh, quite unfortunate. I can just imagine uh, how frustrating that would be for some of these actors who, you know go ham on the chicken, rice, and broccoli for six months, and then they show up to do their production, and they end up getting it uh, called off. You know, all that stress on your body for nothing. So uh, hopefully it ends up happening. Hopefully this is not a wasted, uh, you know, exposure potentially. Um, let's see. This video is how The Rock got even more ripped for Black Adam. I actually skimmed through this one because it looked very interesting. Basically, it was just, you know, going over sort of his uh, diet model for uh, for... Um, Hercules, as well as his uh, training for, uh, you know, like Pain and Gain was another movie that he notably increased, uh, you know, like masked up for. Um, and I'm surprised he's taking so many roles where he has to like bulk and like gain significant amounts of size for at his age. Like once you're pushing 50, it gets a bit like the risk profile increases exponentially for these kind of like heavy duty muscle accrual phases, in my personal opinion. So... Um, obviously he has a lot of oversight by, you know, top doctors and shit, but I mean, I just wouldn't think it'd be the best option. But anyways, apparently, uh, going through the video here, basically just shows some of his Instagram footage and whatnot and, uh, says he's been training, like I said, pretty much all year. He didn't reveal his program or his diet model, or he didn't reveal his diet model like he did for Hercules, which is basically just an assortment of, um, some onions, peppers, like minimal, you know, like basic veggies, I guess. And then a lot of chicken, rice, and broccoli, and some salmon, and, you know, some basic shit, but, um, you know, pretty much what you'd expect, and it wasn't a bad diet model, honestly, like, there's a lot of actors that are chicken, rice, and broccoli 17 times a day, like, The Rock has some diversity, and who am I to critique his shit, but anyways, um, this looks like a, uh, um, could be a cool movie, I mean, there's, I can't imagine any more superhero movies, to be honest, that involve guys, you know, Making crazy transformations, it seems like there's endless amounts these days, even like fucking Kumail Nanjiani going from a, you know, like fat nerd essentially to becoming a saucy trend fiend. Like it, everyone these days is getting on the sazwell and doing these movies, it seems like. But uh, The Rock is one of the OGs and it should be uh, interesting to see how this one turns out. Frankly, I don't really watch movies anymore, so I don't know. I'm a, I'm a fan of him, so maybe I'll tune into this one and see how it is. But um, we'll see if it even happens. Hopefully it does, because that would... You know, it's fucking shitty to see, especially even for the bodybuilding competitions, like with the Olympia and stuff going on right now, you're hearing about people prepping and like, you know, putting themselves through a competition prep and getting shredded and exposing themselves to ridiculous amounts of drugs only to find out last minute they can't, you know, go to the show because of X reason or blank or whatever. And it's just, I can't even imagine, you know, having something that significant be pulled away from you last minute after the amount of preparation work and taxing of your literal fucking organs that you went through in order to present like an optimized product to the world to monetize and like make your living. Like it would be fucking nightmare, dude. So hopefully it works out and uh, hopefully the movie's solid. Um, the, uh, you know, promotional images look cool. So I don't know, but um, that is uh, my overarching stance. I think he is probably uh, pushing the TRT a bit above TRT now is probably uh, getting into the realm of what I outlined in my first video with the combo test with adjunct nandrolone to drive uh, volume. Um, so obviously, some injury prevention benefits as well through that. Um, enhanced leverage in the gym, better just overall fullness and achieving that level of mass that would be necessary to have an intimidating presence as a um, whatever superhero, supervillain, whatever the fuck this guy is. I don't follow enough of. Uh, the DC universe to even know what I'm talking about when I look at Black Adam, but I know Sazul, so that's what I'm going to fucking talk about, so, and some GH in my opinion, so, anyways, that would be my guess, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, are you looking forward to Black Adam, what do you think about The Rock, 
cranking at uh, near 50. Not that we should be the ones giving him life advice, but I mean, I don't know. Any comments help the algorithm, so why not, you know? It helps out, <laughs> helps out the channel. It's much appreciated when you guys drop them down. Sparks some good debate sometimes. It also gives a lot of good feedback to newbies who don't realize the risks associated with these compounds and may otherwise learn something when they go through the comment section. So obviously the educational components from my more veteran guys is more is uh, much appreciated too for a lot of the newbies that come in and then see, you know, sort of the, the community here and then get an idea of what they're getting themselves into and maybe make us, you know, second or third uh, thoughts about what they may be uh, about to inject into themselves once they read more about it and learn more about it. So all that shit's much appreciated and uh, helps boost the algorithm and whatnot. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you want to support the channel, you can check out anything I'm associated with in the video description down below. Um, yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Talk to you soon.